Hello friends, in this video we will solve the RSCSA exam question which will ask in the 9th number. So without wasting your time, let's start this video. The question is related to the NTP client and the question said that configure your system so that it is NTP client of classroom.example. So we need to configure our NTP client of classroom.example.com. So how to do that? For that, we need to open the configuration file of the NTP. The location of the configuration file of the NTP is slash etc slash chronic.com. So with the help of the vim command, we can open directly this file. So how can type vim slash etc slash etc slash crony crony dot con after opening this file here you can see the all the configuration related data is display on our terminal you need to just comment out the first line so how to comment it just putting the hashtag in front of them before typing you need to just press i button and go to the insert mode after going to the insert mode you can enable to edit this file and put hashtag in front of this line after putting hashtag this line was commented and you need to type the one line and this line is server server then your ip address or the host name for example here in a question paper classroom.example.com is given so my server name is different so i can directly put here ip so my ip is i need to check my ip therefore there is a command to check the ip is the if config if config it helps to check the ip address the ip address is 172.24.1.5 so against i go to this file and here I am putting the IP address of my client so server then my IP address at the rate localhost this is the my host name after that you need to put one word I bruised I B U R S T and this word you need to must put in your line because if this word is missing then your overall question will be wrong and you does not get any mass so carefully put this word in front of your uh, local uh, post name okay after you can save this file and after you can save just putting the accept button colon wq and explant then you need to enable your service and your service name is crony cron d crony d so how to enable there is a command system ctl enable chro crony d after that you need to restart your service for restart you need to just put the restart instead of the enable then this start you can see our our cron yd service is enable or not therefore you can just type the status instead of the restart after here you can see our service is also loaded and active that means our question uh, is the solve and you will get five marks easily okay uh, so friends this question is over here so if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and Wait for the next video. Thank you.